Khabib is still in the USADA testing pool. What does that mean? What are we to draw from that? And I will tell you, it's very hard to leave the pool and then re-enter. Like if you go into retirement and they don't, so, so you're out of the pool, by example, and Khabib is allegedly retired. But you also can't be in the sport and not be in the pool. See where this is cart and horse a little bit? See how they, they have to go hand in hand? So, and Usada's reasoning is this. If you're in the pool for X amount of time, but you then leave the pool in this retirement, then all of a sudden you come out and go, you know what, I changed my mind. So I was going, just a second. How do we know you didn't go on a, on a pet holiday? That is suspicious to us. We will give the benefit of the doubt to a brand new guy. It's Monday. Guy signs a contract. He's fighting on Saturday. We'll give him the benefit of the doubt. We are less likely to give the benefit of a doubt to a sitting athlete who leaves but then returns a couple of months later. They have their reasoning for that. I'm just sharing with you what the way that works. So it's a little bit tough when you come back in. I, I think you have to sit for four months. I know you have to sit for two. I know you have to sit for two, but it might be four. And if you have an infraction anywhere in your past, it's six. That was the thing with Brock Lesnar when there was all this talk that Brock was going to come in and Brock was going to save the day and Brock was going to be a last minute where you knew that that was just talk because the calendar just didn't work. Brock would have to come back, finish a suspension. He never finished his first suspension when he got popped after Mark Hunt. He just walked away and said, well, I'm done. There's nothing you could do to me anyway because I'm not coming back. So he'd have to finish that and then he would have the six months. And the only question was, can those run concurrent? But you, that was part of the reason you knew this, this Brock talk isn't real. The calendar just doesn't, it just doesn't work. He's going to come in and fight Daniel in 10 months. It just, things just didn't work. So I bring this to you because Khabib is still in the pool. Now, how do you get out of the pool? I believe he could go to the website and remove himself from the pool. However, there's something known as a whereabouts violation. You have to make your whereabouts known 24 hours a day, seven days a week, no matter what that means or where you are. And you can do that online. It's very simple and very easy to do. You just have to think to do it and make sure you have your logistics down because if they show up to test you at a place that you claim you are and you aren't there, that's a strike. You get three of those. In a calendar year, you get three of those. They give a little leeway, understanding the athlete for whatever reason. Slipped his mind, internet went down, change of plans, forgot that. They understand that things can, so they give you three of those. I bring that to you because this was actually tested and it was tested by Nick Diaz. Nick Diaz had left the sport. He had retired. He had told the whole world, I am retired. USADA then showed up, not once, not twice, but three times and hit him on a violation. And Nick's going, wait, I'm retired. You have no right to test me. You have no right to test me, to sanction me, to say, I, I do not owe you my whereabouts. I am retired. I said it on Fox Sports. I am retired. Well, that, that was very real. It was. And I can't remember how that whole thing got resolved. Nick might have prevailed, but it was retested another time by Conor McGregor, who retired, and Dana came out right on his heels and goes, no, he doesn't. That statement has direct ramifications to USADA. Conor was out there talking. He was marketing. He is absolutely not retired. Because if you retire and leave to come back in, you have the form. I mean, you see what I'm saying? You see where this gets a little bit sensitive? And USADA's really never been jerks about anything. They understand that people don't understand. Like, USADA's never, ever done a gotcha. Never. Never that I've ever heard of. They're very reasonable to educate you and smarten you and make sure that you don't go out and say you're retired if you're not retired. But then when the shoe's on the other foot and Nick Diaz says, I am retired and you all knew I was retired and now you're showing up. And you're coming out and telling the world that I'm ducking you. I don't owe you anything. And you don't have the right to sanction me. I can't remember, how, I can't remember who prevailed in that, but I don't remember Nick having to serve a suspension for that. It was very relevant because Nick got hit on the marijuana. You have three strikes, you're out for life. Lifetime ban. And that would have at least been two. Even though the marijuana rules have now changed it would have been one of these extra strikes. I bring that up to you. I'm actually thinking out loud as I'm talking to you. I can't remember who prevailed on that. But it is relevant that Khabib has come out and said, I am retired. Is he updating his whereabouts? If he's updating his whereabouts, then he's not fully committed to the idea of being retired. If he hasn't updated his whereabouts and USADA shows up one, two, three times, he's going to be suspended. Or 
is he out of the pool right now because he publicly came out and said, I'm retired. It's the same argument Nick tried to make. I just can't remember if Nick won on that. I really can't remember. 